All right, guys, welcome to your 12th video. And in this tutorial, going to learn some more cool effects. First of all, what I want to do is show you guys how, the, how to make the buttons change color dynamically, as you can see whenever you hover over them. And also, you see how whenever you hover over a link that it appears to glow? I'm going to show you guys how to do that. I think it's pretty cool. Um, you know, definitely a lot cooler than normal links. It kind of looks like it lights up. And you can use this not only for this footer, but also on other web pages as well. It, it works really good whenever you have a dark web page. But anyways, let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing we want to do is change the color of our buttons whenever we hover over them. So our buttons were these list items. So let me just go ahead and copy that. And we already know from the notification icons that in order to add a property on hover, you just add semicolon or excuse me, colon hover. That means whenever you hover over this item, what do you want to happen? Well, the only thing we want to do is change the background color to make it appear a little bit darker. So right now the opacity is 0.1, which is basically 10% opacity. We want to change this to 30% opacity. So then whenever we hover over it, you see the button, not the text, but the button is getting darker. That's the effect that we just created. Now the next thing I want to do is I want to style this text right here, pretty much the text on the button. So of course, in order to do this, okay, might as well type this out. Footer, menu, uh, let's see what the best way to do this. This li is the button and the link is just, you already know what the link is, the a. I really don't know why they named um, link tags a. If anyone knows that, let me know. Interesting. So what we want to do with the links or the text on the buttons, the first thing we want to do is we want to display it as a block and this will allow us to position it easier, you know, um, whenever we're moving it around, giving it margins and paddings and stuff. Now the color by default, we want to set this as this color. CCC CCC. Now CCC CCC is it's a very light gray. It almost looks white whenever it's on a black background, but this is actually a very light gray. And these, this other text in the menu is as well. It's one of my favorite colors actually because it's so light where it you can see it clearly, but it's very subtle. And uh, well, anyways. I'll stop talking about the gray, but it is a freaking sweet color. And the text decoration for this is none because sometimes browsers like to put underlines under links. And for this, you don't want to underline under that. So text decoration equals none. So that's our, our default text block, light gray, no text decoration, as you can see. Now, whenever you notice, if I hover over this link right here, then it turns white and also this text right here it appears to be glowing so it goes from gray that light gray I was talking about to a bright white that gives the effect that whenever you touch it it glows now this is actually really simple you guys can probably figure out how to do this a hover hover and the only thing we want to do on hover is change the color from gray to white. So right now what we did is not only did we make the entire button darken whenever we hover over it, but also when we hover over the text itself, it appears to be glowing. Now a lot of people say, you know what, why don't you just tie this all together? And this is why. The button is for the drop up menu. This text right here, it can be a separate link. For example, on my account, this takes you to the main account, or you can choose to go to any of these sublinks as well. So you don't want to have the button be one single thing. I like the button and the text separate entities and that's why. And it, it makes more sense whenever you're using the website as well. But anyways, that is how you darken the button and also make text that glows whenever you hover over it. And in the next tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to style this home button. And it's a little bit different than the rest of them. So make sure to watch that. But for now, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.